this is Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com. And I'm sure you're wondering what is going on with this video. So I'm excited. I'm going to teach you some things, some fundamental orthodontic concepts. This video is probably more meant for patients or consumers than doctors. But if you're a noob doctor that knows nothing about orthodontics, you're going to find this video helpful. So we're going to be talking about perhaps you've been to the orthodontist and they've mentioned things about different types of movements and you're confused. So I'm going to actually demo these movements for you really easy with some modeling clay and some denture teeth. Hopefully it makes more sense. So this video is gonna be primarily focused on spacing, okay? We're gonna be talking about different ways you can correct spacing or excess space. And I'll do another video after this about crowding and maybe I'll do another one about bites. But let's see how this one goes. Okay, spacing. So what's spacing? Spacing can be a result of just having big jaws, which is actually a great thing. You wanna have big jaws, right? The bigger and wider your jaws, the more spacing you have. And actually, fun fact about uh, spacing, people who have spaced and bigger jaws actually are healthier, they have better airways, and they often can live longer. So there you go. Having a big jaw and big healthy jaws, you know, nice muscles of mustic mastication is a really healthy thing for your airway. So don't worry about spacing. And in kids who are in... Um, mixed dentition or even primary dentition, let's say a kid's got fully in baby teeth, they're like five, four, you want to see spacing. Spacing is normal in kids, pediatric patients, normal. If your kid has six millimeters of spacing in their all baby teeth, they will likely have no crowding in adult teeth. If they have more than six millimeters, they'll have some extra spacing, not a big deal, like I said, nothing wrong with that, healthy. And if they have less than that, they will probably have some degree of crowding, okay? so. There you go. All right, we've got spacing here. So how do we get rid of spacing? Well, spacing could be, like I said, it could be a result of just having small little bitty chick, you know, chiclet teeth, or it could be having big jaws, or it could be having wide jaws, but that's okay, because it's easy to fix. So all you have to do to fix spacing is to consolidate the teeth, the spaces up, and or constrict the arch. Both will work. And you can see here with my modeling clay and my super presto orthodontics, that I am constricting the arch a little bit and some consolidating the space up. I know it's not perfect, but it'll work. And now we have some nice arches here and that's pretty much spacing in a nutshell. Very easy to treat. All right, that's pretty much what I have for you. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.